What's going on, YouTube? I'm in the car again because this is where I spend most of my time and I do most of my thinking here. And I caught the video on what is mental freedom. And it really did make me think what is mental freedom because <clears throat> I know as as an African American, a black American, as a person of color in this country, I don't think I am mentally free. I don't think anybody, no matter what race or gender or ethnicity or, or whatever nationality they are, are mentally free. I mean, um, I mean, a lot of people, I'd say maybe like 85% of people are not mentally free, but I actually had to think about what is mental freedom. Um, very good, very good topic, very good topic. Um, for me, mental freedom is letting go of everything negative that has been pushed into you, that society has pushed into you, that the media has pushed into you, that your peers or your parents or whoever has pushed into you, and let, letting that go, letting all of that go, what you have been taught, all the negative things that you have been taught, letting that go, and opening your mind to new experiences, opening your mind to new um, possibilities of new religions, opening your mind to possibilities that you can do anything. Um, you know, a lot of times people used to say, um, you know, white people play golf, black people can't play golf. You know, tennis is a white man's sport. Black people don't play tennis. I mean, it's like that slave mentality that keeps you down. Black people don't swim. I mean, you know, things like that, just in a racial sense. But And another thing, I actually heard somebody close to me say, you know, a woman can't be president. You know, women are too emotional. I mean, there's there's countries in the Middle East that have had female leaders. I mean, and to me, mental freedom is just letting your mind be open. Not closing your mind off because you've been taught this way or you've been raised this way or you've been made to think this way. I mean, I think that's where slavery actually starts. Slavery actually starts in the mind. You know, where somebody telling you or putting that into you and going down through the generations that we can't do this or we can't have this or we have to let somebody have, let somebody, uh, somebody has to let us have this. You know, somebody has to let us be this. Somebody will not let us do this. Um, when in actuality, we're the ones holding ourselves back, be it uh, if you're black, be it if you're female or, or whatever. You're holding yourself back because it starts in the mind, you know. Prison is in the mind also. People can be in prison physically, but they also can be in prison mentally. And there's people out there living in prisons every day. Maybe I'm living in a prison on some issues. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> I'm kind of rambling. I'm sorry. But an example, of, for me, an example of someone who is um, mentally free would be like Gordon Parks. You know, Gordon Parks who directed Shaft. Um, he didn't let anything hold him back. He was a photographer for Life Magazine. He was um, he wrote essays for Life Magazine. Uh, he did music. He did uh, movies. Um, he was a writer. He didn't let anything hold him, him back. Maya Angelou was another one. She did not let anything hold her back. I mean, she was born poor. She had been molested. And she's traveled all over the world. She's been a singer. She's been a dancer, an actress, a writer. I mean, a wonderful poet. Um, and another thing about people who are mentally free, I think children are very mentally free. I'm from a very small town in North Carolina where it's like you live, you know, as a child. You might graduate high school. And then all of a sudden your spirit is broken. It's like you live until your spirit is broken and you go to this humdrum job, you find somebody, you marry them, you have kids or whatever, and it's like you live until your spirit is broken. But I have a great niece. My great niece is about, about 10 or 11. And she is so, so br bright and so vibrant. She believes she can do anything, but it's like, you have all these people who are mentally enslaved, like, I won't name any names, but they're like, oh, shut up, girl, oh, sit down, go somewhere sound, don't ask them questions, you talk too much. But it's like, 
her mind is so open. She's an open vessel, and she wants to learn. She wants to be all she can be, but you got all these people who are enslaved that's holding her down. And that's just, I don't want to see her spirit broken. I don't want to see her spirit broken, but I'm so afraid that it's going to be. I'm so afraid that her spirit is going to be broken. So I think we are born mentally free because we're grasping everything, but once you start, you know, adding in society and people around you who are mentally enslaved that are pushing things into you, um, you know, be it openly or, you know, subconsciously pushing things into you, it's just, it gets too much. So I actually think we are born mentally free, but as we get older, it just gets beat into us that, you know, this is the way things are and you can't change it. So I would love to be mentally free. I know I'm not, but I would love to be mentally free. And if I if I wasn't very, uh, <clears throat> if you couldn't understand me that much because I do ramble, I'm sorry, but that's how I feel about it. Thanks.